So in terms of the 358, we have immediately someone that is not really in touch with their feelings. The three is focused on creating a winning image. The eight is focused on winning. And the five is focused on gathering the knowledge that's critical. So when these three types come together, you get the ambition of the three, you get the seeking of knowledge of the five, and the protective nature of the eight. And this tri-type combination wants to be efficient, wise, and straightforward. Really tough-minded. When you have someone that can use their wits and their kind of guts along with their ability to read people in situations and finesse the world, they're not in their feeling center. So you have someone that can be very tough-minded, that can get the information that's needed and get it out there. They may struggle with insensitivity because in their search for communicating what they know and the value of the information that they want and the success they want to attain, they're not going to use their more tender emotions to understand that or explore that. So they're very good at studying a problem and finding both original and practical solutions that others miss because they can just bypass the emotions that slow others down. They're highly tenacious. This tri-type works tirelessly until they find solutions and prevail against adversity. This is the true, true problem solver. The individual with this life mission is to use their cleverness and their astute powers of observation to serve the greater good. So they're not going to go about helping humanity in terms of interpersonal relating. They're going to be able to be the brains behind the system, to figure things out. And that's how they will make their contribution. And they're happiest when they can evaluate what's needed and take action and implement whatever solutions that they come up with. So when we think in terms of problem solving, these three types together would be the best. They're not troubleshooters so much as the individual who can see the problem, find the solution, and deliver the results. So very results-oriented. The problem and the blind spot is this tri-type can be so focused on their goals and ideas that they become hard-nosed thinkers. So they can like leave out the importance of how others feel, and they can be in denial of their own feelings. And they can feel so vulnerable that they refuse to let in the importance and wisdom of their more painful emotions. So when obstacles arise, they see them as obstacles and not the people or feelings or relationships associated with them. So you can see how there's an electric energy. They, they want the finer things in life. These, this is the conqueror kind of energy. And they're not going to do it through duty. They're going to do it through their, their cleverness and their wits. So their goal is really to take that intellectual can-do nature and connect it to feelings, especially their own feelings. But certainly to what other people are feeling. Does anyone know anyone with this tri-type? I used to work for one of these things. And when I let go, I left. He would, the action seemed relief because he didn't have to deal with my feelings of what he did to me, that I was wrong. You know, business-wise, this is a nice move. Get rid of Tom and just find someone else and go. So there was no, but everything about that, he was direct, he thought it through status, the office, his place, image, I just no longer existed. And I thought, how can he sleep at night? When it, the instinct, you can see how it would make this vary a lot, too. The social would make them very, very, very ambitious. 
the self pres would make them very um, clever and astute at, at um, gaining success through having resources. And one to one will have a little trouble because they're incongruent. Because the one to one wants connection, and this tri type doesn't want connection, they want action and they want information. So this is someone that would, would struggle with what would be more important to them. There is wisdom in those subtle emotions, that they aren't just speed bumps that slow you down. This type can have a problem at times with overthinking. So they, even though they've got two action-oriented types, they want to make sure that they, they know what they're talking about. This person is defined by being clever and wise.